Hello and welcome to AeroV, an electronic flight bag for iPhone and iPad. AeroV makes flight planning a breeze and greatly increases your situational awareness with respect to weather. To start flight planning, there are some basic things we need to know and enter in to use the product effectively. This video will focus on the iPad version of the app, however the iPhone version is nearly identical. Look for a iPhone differences training video coming soon. Let's take a look at the interface on how it might look the first time we have installed it on your iPad. When first logging in, the app will ask you for permission to send notifications and enable location services. You'll want to enable these features to get the most out of your app. If you selected Don't Allow, you'll need to change these in the iPad privacy settings outside the app. Without location services, your current location and moving map will not function. Let's now dive into the interface. Starting from the top header, the icons are as follows. Navigation sidebar. This is how you access other pages of the app, such as airports, downloads, approach plates, and logbook. GPS following. Tapping this button will enable north up following, track up following, and GPS following off. You'll want to make sure you turn this off when it is not needed, or you may find the app will snap back to your current location after a period of inactivity. Base map submenu. This is how you select between VFR, IFR charts, and vector charts. To use this app in flight, be sure to select the offline version next to VFR or IFR charts. If you don't do this, you will likely get a fuzzy map for map components that are not yet downloaded. Overlay submenu. This is how you overlay weather and other products on top of the map. You'll spend a lot of time within this menu. To enable a feature, just tap on the text. Tapping on the heart icon will toggle the feature on and off in your favorites list that will show up on the left side. They will be ordered in the manner in which they are added to your favorite list. FPL button. Tapping this button will toggle the flight planning menu. You'll spend quite a bit of time in this menu editing your flight plan waypoints, setting departure date and time, and more. Search box. This is one way to create a flight plan route. Just enter a series of waypoints, airports, and VORs separated by spaces. Next, you may see a down arrow. This icon will appear based on your screen width to reveal more icons. Tap on it to toggle the submenu. This icon is the terrain profile tool that you can use across your route. Next, digital checklist, PIRAP alerts, and favorite flight plans. Back in the header, synthetic vision, vertical weather profile tool, flight data recorder, settings, and finally, electronic PIREP submission tool. The bottom of the screen contains various instruments and tools. This is horizontally scrollable to reveal additional items. This bar can be customized within settings or removed to create additional screen space. Let's get started flight planning by tapping on the FPL button. From this screen, we have several new buttons to discuss. The blue box on the left-hand side of the screen is going to be a button that you will utilize frequently to set your departure, date, time, altitude, add and edit aircraft you'll be flying, and more. Next, below the blue box, find the brief and file buttons. This will use your plan route departure time to receive a Lidos Flight Services briefing, which will display on screen and email a copy of the briefing to you. To file a IFR or VFR flight plan with flight services, tap File. You may also activate and close VFR flight plans. Next to file is the Download Flight Check tool. Based on your flight plan route, AeroV will automatically calculate the VFR and IFR and approach plates you need to download to utilize AeroV in the cockpit. You may see a red circle with the number of items that are yet to be downloaded next to this icon. Moving to the right is a dark blue box. This is a text area where you may enter waypoints, airports, and airways to build a flight plan route. Moving again to the right is two buttons with different tabs. We're currently in the Flight Plan Editing tab marked by the pen. Tap the Flight Plan list to see estimated time and route, distances to waypoints, etc. You will also notice the Clear FPL button. This instantly clears your flight plan route to enter something new. On the right hand side of the screen is the PRC button. This allows you to add approach procedures and taxi diagrams to your map and later remove them. Below PRC, Find the recently cleared routes by ATC. This will also display TEC routes. If you do not find any matches, try a larger nearby departure or destination airport. Finally, the reverse flight plan route button. This will reverse your flight plan order. 
We need to create our first aircraft profile to begin flight planning. Let's tap on the large blue box on the left hand side of the screen. This is our flight plan editor. Whether we intend to use AeroV to file flight plans or not, there is some general information we still need to fill out. Let's tap on the first row to create an aircraft profile. This is our list of aircraft loaded in our database. To change aircraft, just tap on a new row. To create an aircraft profile, tap on the plus button. From here, we will want to enter our aircraft tail number, true airspeed, ICAO type. If we scroll down, we may wish to create a performance profile for high performance aircraft to change speeds and fuel burn based on various altitudes. Once complete, let's tap on the save button in the upper left corner. Now let's select our new aircraft by tapping on the row and hit the back button in the upper left corner. From here, let's enter the fuel aboard for typical missions. And you may also set the departure time to something in the future or just tap now. We're now ready to create our flight plan route. Tap on the X in the upper corner or simply tap somewhere on the map. Let's tap on the dark blue area and begin entering our route. I'll use KMKC as my departure airport and we'll enter TOP as a nearby VOR and we'll go ahead and enter the Victor 4 airway and Goodland VOR and finally we'll enter KAPA as our destination airport. If we use the return key, the object is added and the keyboard is hidden automatically. We can separate the waypoints with a space which will enter the object and begin typing a new waypoint. If we use the return key, the object is added and the keyboard is hidden automatically. You'll see as we enter our route, it's displayed on the map. Let's clear the flight plan using the clear FPL button. Now we will enter a route via the search box at the top. Once our route is entered, just tap return. We may also add a cruise altitude directly from the search box. Tap the X button to clear the search box. By entering a single waypoint, such as an airport, the route is not replaced, but the airport is highlighted on the map and the airport information page will appear. We may do this to quickly reference airport information without replacing our route. We may also enter a U.S. street address to identify it on the map. Tapping on the document icon with the arrow up will allow us to send the flight plan to certain external devices such as an Avidyne IFD receiver. We may also add this flight plan to our favorites list by tapping add to favorite. Now that we have created a flight plan route and selected a departure time, we may also see some automated threat detection alerts show up in the FPL tab, such as icing, IMC, and terrain. In addition, we can now open certain features such as the vertical weather profile tool by tapping on the icon in the header. We hope you have enjoyed a beginning look at using AeroV and getting started flight planning. Please check out another video to learn more about specific AeroV features. Have a great day!